Hello and welcome back to Actual Edge. Before we start, don't forget to like the video, share it and subscribe if you haven't already. In a monumental leap forward, the FDA has recently granted approval for a groundbreaking treatment that harnesses the power of CRISPR gene editing technology. Let's unravel the science behind Cascavi, a game-changing therapy that promises hope for those grappling with inherited blood disorders. This month, the FDA gave the green light to Cascavi, a pioneering treatment developed through CRISPR gene editing. The procedure involves a modifying a person's blood stem cells using this cutting edge technology and then transplanting them back. This marks a monumental shift in the treatment landscape for blood disorders. Initially approved for sickle cell disease in December, Casgevy has now received FDA approval for transfusion dependent beta thalassemia. TDT, a hereditary blood disorder causing anemia and frequent blood transfusions, finds a new enemy in Casgevy. Delving into the intricacies, Casgevy works by modifying a person's own blood stem cells. These altered cells, once transplanted, anchor and multiply in the bone marrow, promoting the production of fetal hemoglobin. The result? Enhanced oxygen delivery, offering a glimmer of hope for those plagued by blood disorders. Dr. Nicole Verdun, Director of the Office of Therapeutic Products at the FDA Center for Biologic Evaluation and Research, emphasizes the significance of this approval in advancing treatment options. The use of CRISPR CAS9 technology showcases the FDA's commitment to embracing cutting edge medical technologies. To comprehend the impact of Cascavi, let's distinguish between sickle cell disease and TDT. Sickle cell disease, marked by abnormal crescent shaped red blood cells, can lead to excruciating pain episodes and organ damage. In contrast, TDT results from genetic mutations affecting hemoglobin production, causing lifelong anemia and a host of complications. Cascavi, produced by Vertex Pharmaceuticals, presents a beacon of hope for patients aged 12 and older, offering potential cures for both TDT and sickle cell disease. This cell therapy aims to minimize short and long-term side effects compared to traditional stem cell transplants. One of Cascavi's notable advantages is the acceleration of stem cell transplants. By utilizing a person's own cells, the therapy mitigates the need for waiting on external donors, offering a more streamlined and accessible approach. Dr. Sonali Chaduri sheds light on potential drawbacks including short and long-term toxicities such as nausea, infections and infertility. The hefty price tag of $2.2 million for a single course raises concerns about accessibility, especially for those without insurance benefits. In conclusion, Cascavi opens new doors in the realm of blood disorder treatments. While its approval marks a monumental stride, questions about accessibility and potential side effects linger. As we witness at the dawn of a new era in gene editing therapies, the pursuit of an accessible and effective treatments remains at the forefront. Thank you very much for listening and see you in the next video.